Welcome to the MTech program in Applied AI by Wayne IT Nagpur. We have created this video to address important details about this program such as how this program will run, what is the accreditation for the program alongside the grading and marking schema. So ensure that you watch this video till the end. But before we dive into these particular details, I'd like to welcome the Honorable Director of VNIT Nagpur, Dr. Pramod Padoe sir, to share some wisdom with us. Dr. Padoe sir has been associated with VNIT since 1988. He has four patents and 160 research publications behind his name in reputed international and national journals. Not only that, he received the National SNT Award from the Government of India back in 2017. So without any ado, let's hear from him. Uh, I'm very happy that VNIT and Intelpac is uh, having sort of a joint venture to run this program, PG program, in uh, online mode, in hybrid mode, I can say, in uh, applied AI. Uh, let me first uh, congratulate both the Department of Electronics Engineering and Intel for uh, starting this course for the first time in NIT system. I was just listening that the Intel Pat is running such course with the various IITs. Uh, VNIT is the first NIT to work with you and uh, running this kind of courses. I am quite happy and I am sure that this will provide a facility to the industry professionals who maybe because of their busy schedule, they are not in a position to join the regular PG program. They will be in a position to join these programs and improve their uh, sort of a technical, uh, intellectual and the technical skill. Uh, I am happy that uh, this program is being run jointly with Intelpac so that I, we shall be getting a support of, from the industry and also the faculty members from VNIT, they will be putting their expertise to this program. So I welcome all the uh, students for this uh, program and I am sure that this two years program will improve their uh, sort of a knowledge in the area of uh, this advanced AI and they will be benefited by the sort of expert uh, expert advice from our faculty members and also from the industry. With this, I wish all the best for this program. Thank you. Alright guys, moving forward, I'd like to welcome Dr. Ashwin Kothari, the head of department at VNIT Nagpur and also the coordinator of this MTech in Applied AI course to take us through the degree program details. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ashwin Kothari, professor and head of Electronics Communication Engineering Department at VNIT. Today I am here to introduce you to MTech degree program in Applied AI offered by VNIT Nagpur, an institute of national importance. All of us already know that AI is the future. It doesn't matter which background you come from, you will have to learn AI to stay relevant to the IT field or IT industry at some point in time. There are uh, predictions that AI is going to replace 85 million jobs that to by time we reach 2030. That's why you should not just limit yourself to using AI tools and ponder about how amazing they are, but rather it's time you learn the skills that will allow you to build awesome products like this. And that's why, or that's what our MTech program in Applied AI will teach you. VNIT is one of the oldest NIT institutes. Founded back in 1960, there is 64 years of legacy behind VNIT's name. One more fact I would like to communicate about our institute. In 2023, we rank as 8th best NIT across India by the NIRF ranking, which is authentic. Generally, to get into VNIT a good score is a critical criteria. Since we have created this program for professionals who want to learn while they are in job, the GATE score is not amended. This program will be running in an online mode and the good part is there is no age limit. The reason being this program is a step forward making high quality education available for all. Now let me open the slide deck and help you guys with all the important details about the program. 
So this is department journey right from starting with intake of 20 and currently with an intake of 150 at our UG program for BTEC Electronics and Communication Engineering. The department has many achievements uh, added to its account. It has a center of excellence of competitive system also, which was established in 2013. Then uh, uh, it has active contribution in one of the institute level center of uh, Zamdar Siemens Center of Excellence, which is related to industry 4.0 and digitization. Uh, we already have our uh, curriculums updated with the NEP policies and uh, Recently, in association uh, or collaboration with IntelliPAT, we have started this online MTech program of Applied AI. Uh, the department programs, uh, the UG and PG regular MTech programs are already accredited for six years. So uh, you will find that uh, accreditation is for getting the global uh, compliance or competency with the degrees offered worldwide. And you can see the department has always his program, uh, its program accredited. Uh, for its UG uh, and PG program. We have doctoral program also, PhDs in areas of communication, image processing, photonics, biomedical, antennas, embedded systems, signal processing. And as we have seen, this recently applied AI and applied AI and communication online MTech program is also launched. This is the overall hierarchy. So head of the department uh, heads the particular department under which the supporting staff, students, and the faculty are there. And uh, in the different academic hierarchy, there are professors, associate professors, assistant professors, etc. And project staffs and PhD students are part of the department. We have uh, a battery of uh, faculty basically from various diverse areas, vast experience, and their academic qualifications from various institute of reputes from uh, uh, national and international level. Uh, uh, you will find that uh, the particular slide can show their various uh, specializations in which they are, they are active uh, research is right now going on. And it is from right from signal processing to photonics to uh, uh, communications to antennas, microwave, you can see instrumentation and control, embedded systems. So there are various areas in which these faculties are working. Our uh, department is continuously striving with good uh, research record with good number of publications. Uh, you can see the recent average Google citation and H index of the faculty members. Uh, as you know, currently worldwide, the outcome-based education model is followed. So this is the vision and mission of VNIT at institute level. And so complying with it is the vision and mission of the department, which has introduced this particular program. So achieving this goal and continuously striving for the uh, uh, very good uh, uh, standard of, uh, or, of academics or excellence in academics. And that's why you will find that there are various kinds yeah. of stakeholders who are actually actively pa participating in the uh, syllabus uh, formation. And th those are students, our alumni industry, people from academia and all. So basically we meticulously follow outcome-based education programs. There are various kinds of laboratories available in the department. So uh, for the hands-on experience or uh, with various kinds of hardware and software resources, this is the list of uh, labs. They are UGPG labs, research labs, special labs, and centers also. And right now the department has more than worth of four crores of equipments or facilities. As I have said, uh, the Center of Excellence in Competitive System with initial grant of five crores was established in 2013, and it receives cumulative grants up to 2022, and the total grant was uh, nine crores. Uh, <clears throat> then uh, the skill enhancement courses are already being conducted under Center of Excellence, and we have mentored uh, Sati Vidisha and NIT Agartala also for establishing such centers. Uh, the our regular courses of mtech communication uh, system engineering and it got accredited up to 2025 uh, then we have 22 faculties uh, we have uh, mous uh, particularly with various uh, uh, institutions and universities of repute department has got many gyan courses grants also through which uh, various faculties from uh, reputed universities abroad have come to the department and have taken hands-on courses and all.
uh, and uh, there are like participation by the uh, students in various competitions and on then here you can see that uh, the placement assistance for this program will be through intellipat as already mr divakar has made it clear that it's not just making you to have opportunity for the placement but also opportunity to groom you people for the placement opportunities these are various companies uh, in which students get place uh, the, then the as per as the authenticity of the program is concerned then you will find that uh, the mou with intellipat was signed the program is duly approved by the cnet uh, and many people ask whether it is aict recognized or what or like that i again want to make it clear that bnit is an institute of national importance set up by the act of parliament of government of india it is an autonomous institution and it doesn't does not come under the purview of aict so nits iits they give their own degrees and this particular degree is at par with all other regular degrees which are given by vnit uh, particularly this program is mtech in applied ai uh, the learning mode is online and in that case as you know on website also the details and the brochure other things are there so same you can view there through which only you have gone and completed the admission process uh, student resources as per as our concern so you will find that this is the scheme particularly as you know and the total program is for 52 credits so these are the courses a dc stands for departmental core which means a compulsory core and the last column talks about the number of credits you will be achieving after completion that particular course whereas de will be departmental elective under which from the basket of courses you would be offered some upcoming technology based courses from which you can choose uh, one course then there is project uh, phase 1 phase 2 on uh, and on which thesis is to be presented and there are courses related to humanity skills also in which personality development and communication skill improvement opportunity would be there uh, this is the screenshot of our academic information management system where you will get a chance to register uh these are the e resources or uh, library resources with uh, for which you will have the remote access so you can go through various kinds of books papers and learning material which would be available uh, the, as far as if, this is the registration uh, screenshot once a particular student uh, is registered for the course and the faculty approves it it will somewhat look like this and a complete track of the courses would be kept Uh, in which uh, particularly you will find that it would be shown um, uh, which course is approved and which is not approved and all. so uh, there would be assessment majorly the end semester exam would be in physical mode and mid semester and teacher assessment would be in online mode both would be having overhead of 50 50% the the grading system for this i would request students to go through the academic rule book which is available on the vnit website and the relative grading system is there which would be there after assessment of uh, every subject uh, so this is all about of uh, the academic system assessment evaluation if any other queries are there you are most welcome to post your queries on the uh, coordinator email id I, i would be glad to answer it uh, this is all from me and i again welcome you and uh, again uh, wish you all the best and request you to put your best efforts to achieve the academic excellence and use the opportunity to fullest uh again welcome to the vnit faculty thank you so first of all i'd like to thank ashwin sir for providing us with a detailed overview of the program i believe all of you guys must be clear with the schema of how this program will be running so guys don't wait ai is undeniable future and if you want to thrive in future you must take steps towards learning the skill of artificial intelligence with the assistance of in depth learning from vnit faculties and career assistance from intellipath you can make the difference so call on the numbers given on the screen to receive the title of nitn and improve your earning potential